plug you in, plug you in. Here's that white paint, but if you look at it, it's kind of creamy white. It's a little bit of a thicker, thicker. -er. Alright, now what I want is, I'll turn this bag off so I can see up there. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, that's not going to work. So where's my other stuff? Where did I put it? Is it fit? Yeah, but I don't know what color this one is. Ah, uh, this can work. I don't want a lot though. Let me shake it up. Make sure we get all the color right and the pigments. Okay, now we're just going to put a little dab. That may be too much actually. Because when I say a little bit darker but this is how we just do it we take a little of the paint that we would be working with for instance and put it on our finger then we start mixing the paint that we need to use to match the paint that is already there we put that on the other finger now in this case I want to see the difference between the two whites and how dark that actually is but in most cases we're trying to match and then we put them together and when we put our fingers together, they would bleed. And when they bleed, you'd see if there was a color difference. Now, so we could see that this one's darker than that one. Now, in here, it doesn't look like it's the color I want. But here, it looks like it's close. Hmm. But that's how we used to mix covers. They didn't have all this other shit. You know, you go to the store and they hook it up to the computer and they give you the exact match. We didn't have that crap. Right? We had to do it this way. Now, if you were off a little bit and uh, you're doing a room, what you would want to do is try to make it to a corner to where the sun isn't, a shadowed corner. And that's where you would do your cutting and start your new color. Because it's that close to you're really not going to notice it. And if it's in a shaded corner of the room, it's not going to be noticeable at all. And if it is, they say, well, you got the shade over there, the window is shaded. You know, but most of the time, you don't even notice it. Okay, I want to go just a little darker. Not by much, though. Most of the time, you're mixing the color, you're it to the house, the room. So you mix yourself enough. You know, it's not like you're not mixing enough. If you have to make sure it will shame on you. And if you do it outside, it's a whole different story. Because you're mixing it up in the... In the Let's turn down paint can, pub, trash can. You know, you trash cans? That's what we used to mix it in. Okay, but let's take. I think I got it. I think this is it. I'm going to I think it's actually going to too dark. I'm going to leave here. I think my dry is going to be all set. Yeah. Now, if by chance I didn't mix enough, which I think I should have maybe a pint of better left over for touch up if needed. But if I didn't mix enough, I would come out here and do the same thing and I would use the finger method. It's 
not, uh, it's not working. All right, so anyway, now the next time I'm going to make it a little darker, a couple shades darker, because I'm going to want to use it on the trim. All right, so this is just going to sit here like this for tonight. I'm just going to let that sit there, if it will. No, I don't want you to go in. I want you to stay up. Okay. Now, put the top on this one. Not tight. Put it on there. there. Now, I don't think it's actually leaking. Well, it may be, but I... I think it is. I think. Yeah. I think whatever's there is just there. Uh, from the past. Well, when I was mixing it and spilling it. Okay. All right. So that's gonna sit like that. Uh. I don't know if I want to use a brush or a roller. I'm a brush guy. Yeah, I don't care for rollers too much. But as I get older, sometimes the old roller rooskies, um, well, they're just bad. You know, I got to use a brush to cut it. So if I'm going to use a brush to cut it, I might as well just use the brush and paint it. So. That's another thing. I cut it. I don't use masking tape. That's all a lot of extra work. You get a good brush, you can cut it. You just gotta take your time. And don't try to cut this one and this one. Let one of them bleed over. Let it come over. And then you just have to cut that one. And you'll get a better, cleaner cut. If you guys get into a, like a window and it's a two color, you know, and they gotta you know, they got to cut this one to the glass and then cut this one. You know, what are you doing? You know, just cut it. Paint it and then cut the other one. You know what I mean? All right, I'm going to let that sit. All right, I'm going to start shutting down. Sit there and watch the paint dry. This light is off. Let me unplug you and you'll turn off for me. You will, you will. Move the stick out of the way so nobody trips on it. Um, okay. This